Thank you for joining me today. Uh, in this exercise, as with others, a part of the series, I'll be reading a paragraph to you. In this case, the paragraph is done in the style of a script or an interview. Uh, embedded within it are the potential for errors related to grammar, punctuation, syntax, and so forth. Please keep that in mind as you listen to me read it to you. Uh, afterwards, I will step out of the way, such as I'm doing now, and then ask that you pause the video to make corrections independently and resume so that you and I can correct them together. I'll go ahead and start by reading the paragraph. Uh, GC being the name of the person speaking, or the excuse me, the uh, initials of the person speaking, carried over from a previous exercise. So, glory cleanup, I believe, or uh, Granada cleanup. Fantastic. Water conservation is very important, Wesley. Dominic, how do you conserve our planet's resources? Dominic, since I live about a mile from school, I've decided to ride my bike to school and conserve non-renewable resources like gasoline. GC. Now you're talking. Recycle for Life, publication, knows that reducing pollution and conserving resources are major challenges for our nation. Uh, all right, go ahead and pause. Oh, and again, in case you missed it, Recycle for Life is a publication. All right, go ahead and pause here to make those corrections and resume when you're ready. <coughs> Okie dokie, uh, I'm moving and shaking, so let's go ahead and get started right at the beginning. Things look great, fantastic. New sentence, we're going to start with a capital. Water conservation is very important, Wesley, period. New sentence. Not only is it a new sentence, but it's also someone's name. So proper noun, capitalize it. Dominic, comma. How do you conserve our planet's resources? We're not talking about a multitude of planets. We're talking about a singular planet, our planet, in possession of these resources. So to make it singular and to give it the possessive tone, it is apostrophe s resources and it's a question it's an interrogative so question mark should end the sentence his response since i live about a mile from school comma new clause i've decided to ride my bike to school and conserve non-renewable resources comma or actually non-renewable resources like gasoline you can include that comma or you can uh, not or just leave it without i should say now you're talking. This is actually a, meant to be a contraction of the word you plus are, which we wed together using an apostrophe. So now you are or you're talking. Recycle for life. Again, it's a publication, which means now I need to underline it. Knows <coughs> that reducing pollution and conserving resources are major challenges for our nation. Period. Alrighty. And I believe those are all the corrections I could find. If you found others, please feel free to let me know what you did or what you discovered or what you did in terms of modifications in the comment section below. If you found the video helpful, great. Please give it a like. I would appreciate it. And subscribe if you'd like to continue to practice with me. All right. Thank you.